Bobby was born on April 23, 1952, in Paris. When he grew up, he began his journalist career. He received his first publication in 1974. At the age of 28, he joined L, where he later became the magazine's editor. For 10 years, Bobby was in a relationship with Silvia de la Rochefoucauld. They had a son and a daughter. On December 8, 1995, at the age of 43, Bobby had a cerebrovascular seizure while driving his son to a night out at the theater. When he woke up in the hospital 20 days later, he could only blink his left eyelid. He had locked in syndrome, in which the mental faculties remain intact, but most of the body is paralyzed. In Bobby's case, his mouth, arms and legs were paralyzed and he lost 27 kilograms in the first 20 weeks after his stroke. Before his seizure, Bobby had signed a contract to write a book. His speech therapist, Sandra Fischer, arranged a 26-letter alphabet according to the frequency of use, so that he called dictate. Claude Mandeville, a ghostwriter and freelance book editor, was sent to take the dictation using a system called Partner Assisted Scanning. She recited the alphabet until Bobby blinked the correct letter and recorded the 130 page manuscript later by later over the course of two months, working three hours a day, seven days a week. The resulting book, The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, was published on Friday, March 7, 1997. It went on to become a number one bestseller across Europe and its total sales are now in the millions. At the age of 44, Bobby unexpectedly died from pneumonia two days after the publishing of his book. Based on Bobby's book, the movie The Diving Bell and the Butterfly was made which received many prestigious awards.